As Liverpool look to bolster their defensive options, Mark Gwehi emerges as a standout target following his impressive performances at Euro 2024. The young England defender, currently linked with both Chelsea and Liverpool, has showcased his abilities on an international stage, proving his mettle against Europe's elite. With a valuation of £65 million by Crystal Palace, Gwehi represents a significant investment for the Reds, but one that could shore up their backline for years to come. Gary Lineker has been effusive in his praise of Mark Gehi's performances during the tournament, highlighting the player's ability to stand out even as the team faced challenges. Lineker shared his admiration on his podcast, saying, Positives, Mark Gwehi, what a performance, what made it even more special was the team was struggling, he can defend by the way. He's been absolutely superb, with and without the ball, he makes a mistake and we all go he's made a mistake, but then he gets back. He doesn't panic, he didn't dive in. He's got back because he's quick, which is really useful, he waited and chose his moment, and his timing was perfect to block it. Such endorsements from footballing legends only increase Gehi's appeal to top clubs. Liverpool's interest in Gwehi indicates a clear strategic intent to reinforce their defensive line. Amidst competitive interest from other top clubs, including a possible return to Chelsea who hold a buyback clause, Liverpool's approach in the transfer market will need to be assertive and well-timed, the Reds are known for their meticulous scouting and strategic acquisitions, and securing a player of Gehi's calibre would be a testament to their continued commitment to blending youth with experience and quality. Gehi's performances in Germany for England have not only elevated his profile but have also demonstrated his readiness to take on challenges at higher levels, his pace, tactical awareness, and ability to recover from setbacks make him an ideal candidate for Liverpool's defensive requirements. As the tournament progresses, Liverpool fans and management alike will be watching closely hopeful that Gwehi could be the next big signing to Grace Anfield. According to a breaking report from Mundo Deportivo, Luis Diaz is Barcelona's primary target to reinforce the left wing this summer. He even sits above athletic club sensation Nico Williams on the club's wish list. The Colombian star has been on the Catalan's radar for a long time now, and club president Joan Laporta prefer his signing owing to the rich experience that he brings. After all, he has seen more of the game at 27 years of age compared to William, S who is just 21 and offers more in the face of goal. The player dreams of a move to Barcelona and is even said to be Deco's favourite candidate to reinforce the attack. The only hurdle in his signing, however, is the economic aspect. As relayed by the Spanish outlet, Diaz's price stands at about 60 million euros and Barcelona cannot afford to shell out such an amount without making a big sale. Liverpool, in fact, value him at around 75 million euros. Out of favour winger Rafinha, thus, appears to be the player who the Catalans are willing to mortgage in exchange for Diaz's services. The Brazilian enjoyed a good season for the club in 2023-24, but the Blaugrana see the arrival of a natural, left winger to be more rewarding than the Brazilian's output. Moreover, he is one of the few players in the squad who has several offers on the table. As reported recently, clubs in Saudi Arabia are willing to offer as much as 100 million euros for Rafinha while interest from the Premier League has also been spoken about. It's been known for some time that Barcelona will look to sign a midfielder and a left winger this summer, and the two names that have emerged most clearly for the latter position are Nico Williams and Liverpool's Luis Diaz. The former has a €58 million Euros release clause and a contract until 2026, but the latter still has three years left on his deal at Anfield. However MD report that Barcelona still feel that Liverpool would be willing to do business with them for roughly the same price, around €60 million. Euros. Liverpool have made contact with former Manchester United, transfer target Adrian Rabiot, according to the Sunday Mirror. Man United have really struggled under boss Eric Ten Hag, this season with too many of the club's world-class players going missing, on a weekly basis and not putting in the kind of performances the Dutch boss needs. It is widely expected that Man United will look to sign some new players at the end of the season and add some more quality, experience and winning mentality to the side as they seek to get back into the habit of challenging for that Champions League spot. Rabiot has been a player that Man United United have been linked with for the last few transfer windows. He is a player that is proven at the very highest level of the game and is a player that would bring quality to that United midfield. The France midfielder, who is currently playing at Euro 2024, was close to joining United in 2022 but could become Arnslot's first signing at Anfield as the Daily Mirror have claimed that Liverpool have now contacted the Frenchman's camp about a possible move. Rabiot is a world-class midfielder that could be a very good option for Liverpool, and the fact he could be signed on a free would be massive for the Reds, as they will still have funds to keep on improving the side over the next few months. Slot needs to sign a few quality players that can make an immediate impact, 
as there will be a lot of attention on his job over the first few months of the season, so needs the players that will help give him the results he needs. He is a midfielder who can be used in a 6 and 8 hybrid role, however, he cannot be given the sole duties of operating as a defensive midfielder. He could operate with the likes of Endo or Ryan Gravenberch, which can help the club play one offensive 8 in a 4-3-3 formation or a 10 in a 4-2-3-1. The Frenchman has a very versatile profile and can operate anywhere along the midfield, and his intelligence aids him in predicting the next play. He could be used in a counter-press effectively off the ball, which can ensure that the club follows Jurgen Klopp's philosophy of high-intensity pressing under arm slot. On the ball, the 29-year-old can be used in multiple ways. He could be used as a wide midfielder like Didier Deschamps uses him for France. Liverpool midfielder Tyler Morton is the subject of interest from RB Leipzig and a handful of other top European clubs, according to a report. The 21-year-old has just completed his second loan spell in the championship with Hull City, where he went from strength to strength, with three goals and five assists in the second tier. Prior to his brief stint at the MKM Stadium, Morton also excelled at Blackburn Rovers in the 2022-23 campaign, with four assists from 46 matches, establishing himself as a competent championship linchpin. Comfortable as a number six or number eight, Morton has only made fleeting appearances for Liverpool since coming through their academy ranks, having first joined the Reds as a schoolboy in 2009. The 21-year-old played nine times in the 2021-22 season, under Jurgen Klopp, making starts in the Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup and EFL Cup, being part of the winning squads in the latter two tournaments. However, Morton's most recent appearance for the Merseyside Giants came all the way back in March 2022, although he penned a new long-term contract with his boyhood club back in January 2023. It is still not clear what the future holds for the midfielder at Liverpool, though, and according to the Times, German powerhouses RB Leipzig are one of several sides keen to prize him away from Anfield. Die wrote and Bullen pride themselves on nurturing young talents and took Morton's Liverpool teammate Fabio Carvalho on loan for the first half of the 2023-24 season, but that move did not work out for either party. Carvalho ended up joining Morton at Hull for the remainder of the campaign, but Leipzig are not alone in their pursuit of the latter, who has also caught the eye of Eintracht Frankfurt, Feyenoord and Sevilla. Furthermore, some unnamed Premier League clubs are also said to be keeping a close eye on the situation while almost every team in the championship would be keen to take Morton on loan for 2024-25.